Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Man. I am Drunken Dan. Or oh, some people say Drunken Flan. <laughs> My name is Gun Angel. I don't even know why I'm doing it. I'm like Gun Angel's watching this. Uh, fuck me, right? So, uh, last time we... Uh, did a lot of talking, did a little bit of fighting. And uh, this time we're going to be doing a lot more fighting. Okay, so I do want to talk about a couple things. Where can I go? I want to get, make sure I buy a couple things before I get moving. What's my HP looking like? Okay. So why don't I also get something to eat first at one of the places? Um, but yeah, uh, okay. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of tabletop stuff because I should have some time while I'm doing my shopping. Um... Now, Rise of the Rune Lords, for those of you who've been following since I was doing Berseria, is going to be on a little bit of a break. Because, um, two of the players are, their, their schedule's kind of up in the air, so we're going to end up starting up a different campaign while they're, uh, gone. And, uh, but here's where we are right now. We're still in the Sandpoint Invasion. Um, so I'm going to mention this while it's still fresh on my mind, what all we did. So we fought... <laughs> So, so uh, we, we showed up. I mentioned the dragon last time, if I recall. Um, so we started off fighting the dragon. And um, Galvin managed to intimidate it. And it actually fucked off for a little bit. We then fought um, what we assume is probably like the chief or like one of the commanders of the war raid. Uh, I threw up a, a uh, firewall and I put it in a, as a ring. Around them, I'll, well, I shouldn't say I. My character Melita did that while she was also screaming, I won't let you destroy my home. Yes, they don't really know what they're after. Um, this sucks. I can only get, like, uh, the shitty shit. Oh, well. Oh, wait, I can just buy a little more, I guess. Uh, charge up your heat. Oh, is that what I bought? Fuck. This is what I would probably want to buy. I'll, pro I'll try to go through those before I go through the good shit. But, uh... The dragon comes back. And, um... We fight it as well as the giants. Um... It, it, these are the only significant things that go on. There wasn't a whole lot. Uh, dragon uh, knocks down Galvin a couple times. He gets picked up by our paladin. Um... It was like a weird thing where he does like debuffs. He doesn't have like smite evil, like in the same way that like I have sm like you know your typical paladin does. It's weird. Uh, I shoot it. I, I was very careful with this because I didn't want to get aggro right away because I'm still a squish mage. But at that point, I like poured it in, used dragon breath with uh, I think I with ice breath. I, it was basically the ice variant of it, which it was vulnerable to. Also, this dragon was a adolescent so he didn't have sr but he was still but he had some mechanic that the dm gave him like with this weird fire thing if you're near him you take damage uh so that was another reason why i didn't want to get too close though i did have fire resistance because of a ring in fact actually i took like no damage thanks to my fire resistance ring and my uh, arcane barrier it just all of that absorbed all of the damage for me and i took none of it um so I shot that it and I teleported away because within the turns that I had, I was able to like walk up. I was able to walk up, like get myself in the position. Uh, I think I first put a storm cloud on it, and then I shot it with ice, and you know called me a coward because it's like oh you leave your friends to die. Um, and then unfortunately for me, it escaped. Like the next turn it got, it ran away because it wasn't going to deal with it because it was low on health and its morale said that it just goes away. Even the DM's like, yeah, I know this fight can go either way, but according to the morale sheet, she's going to fuck off. Um, so Longtooth, as her name was, then fucked off. Um, the chief, meanwhile, while we were fighting them and the giants, uh, so I think one of the giants, the dragon, accidentally killed. Um, he went to the light and was digging through rocks and eventually found the the thing he was looking for and, you know, blew his horn and started f fucking off. But I dimension doored the entire party to him. We killed him pretty quickly. And, um, now we still have more to do. But it's going to be some time before we do it. And for now, until then, 
that is kind of the brief, that's is kind of the conclusion of Rune Lords. But I am going to be in two campaigns by two different groups. Funny enough, they're both sh Shattered Star. Uh, one of them's a little further ahead, and I have like a gist of what they were doing. And the other one is going to be early Shattered Star. Um, either way, it's going to be new for me. Uh, in the one campaign, I'm going to be playing a... I, I'm, I'm actually working on him. Sorry, I, you know what? I, I should get this moving wrong. I'm going to be playing a cleric named mm -hmm. Father Fagurnafarty. He's a gnome. And the other one I'm going to be playing the... I talked to the DM. Basically, we can just read this alternate timeline if, you know, our characters die in uh, Rune Lords. I'm going to be playing as... Uh, me and uh, the Galvin's player are going to be playing as the twin children of Galvin and Melita. Um, I don't think he's given the, the brother a name yet, but I've given uh, my character a name. Uh, she's going to be a monk, and possibly this one archetype that uses panache. Um, and um, he's going to be a sorcerer with... Um, I think he's going to take the apparent bloodline. Though it's going to be described where his blood's kind of weird, so he's not... It's... There's like... When you use magic, you can see little bits of black, but otherwise it's red. Uh, my character, she's not going to have any black blood, um, even when they test it with magic. But she does have yellow eyes, kind of like a... Like a where people thought that was a symbol of Mashu, but no, she just has yellow eyes. What <laughs> でも、親父が言い出したことなんだからな。定裁上波紋ということになっちゃいるが、絶縁じゃねえ。復帰の目もあるだろう。Snappy title. <笑>なあ、キリは相変わらずごっついやつやったんか。ええ。それはもう。そうかそうか。ご苦労やったの。ちょっと手出してみや。ええ。ああ。ご機嫌やさかいな。指日本で許したるわ。
これが東条会本部の見取り図ですこの本部施設の中に風間のおやさんが建物の裏口は比較的手薄です下手に塀を越えたりすればかえって怪しまれますから正面から弔問客に紛れ込んでいきましょう正門から入ったら突き当たりまでまっすぐそこを右に入った先が裏口です俺はそこで兄貴を待ちます Alright, I think. Oh, no, no, I think cutscenes are kind of over. So, um,、uh, I should mention too, with Father f o r g u r n a f a r t y is that I'm gonna be doing that crappy fucking Irish accent the entire time I play him? It'll be stupid. Oh, yeah, this is like a mini stealth section. I think I gotta go around this way. I think this is how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, wait, no, I think what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I gotta wait for him to turn around, and I think I can just, like, walk in. But, uh. Two dangers are up front. Wait, which way am I supposed to do this again? He's gonna go all the way back, isn't he? Can I just. Can I just do this? Okay, apparently I can. Apparently his eyes are that bad. Good thing his eyes are that bad. Useful, right? Okay, let's see. Um, so what was I gonna say? So, Father Figure and the Fire Key. Oh, sign in the reception desk. You may only enter if you're signed against the book. So, uh. So, anyway, the、uh, father for Grand Fire Key, like I said, he's gonna sound like that.、Um, I can't remember the god I picked for him. I picked one based on just to give him the. Because、uh, I wanted him to. Have a.、Uh, was, I wanted him to have a war mace so he could refer to it as his shalali. Well, he's got a heavy mace, though, but you know, you get the idea. Um. He has two feet. He's got the guided hand. He's got it in the mystic one. Dojima,、uh, why not? But, uh. Alright, so he's got, he, so what he can do is he can hit. And do damage with his wisdom. Now, the second version is a mystic feat, but because all it does is allow me to do damage with wisdom, I convinced the DM to let me take it because it's not even like a super bust. It's not like a busted feat or anything like that. It just means when I'm in melee, I can actually hit something. I can actually do damage to something. And, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed playing it.、Uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy playing it. I still got to finish putting his stuff together. I put some of his spells I'm going to probably be using in his spell list. Um, I also bought him a power pearl. Or a pearl of power, however you're supposed to say it.、Yeah, I believe this is the guy I gotta talk to in order to get this to start. But, um, and for the daughter of, of、uh, Melita, which her name's Irene, um, she, like I said, she's gonna be a monk.、Uh, I think I might go with that archetype that allows her to get, that gives her panache points too. But I, I might. Decide against. Let me let me read that again. Oh no, where have I gone? Oh, the band. Okay. I believe it's one of the trash cans.、Um, but yeah, I wanted to have a.、Uh... Actually, I think this is it. But yeah, so I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna do vanilla monk or just that. But the, the interesting part about her is the DM okayed me instead of taking this feat to do it. To use a. to allow her to treat an Earthbreaker as a monk weapon. So she's going to be mainly hitting people with an Earthbreaker. So, so in other words, Flurry of Earthbreaker. <laughs> and、uh, in terms of her personality and characteristics,、um, you might have said, Dan, why don't you say about Father for Gurnafartis?、Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to him in a second.、Um, I'm gonna make her act kind of like a street punk or a delinquent. Um, I might give her a, a slight southern accent as a gag. So, I might have her like, say things like mom, pal when I, when I、uh, play her. 
But uh, other than that, I am not 100% sure what I'm going to do. But, uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be playing with her. For Father for Garen of Hearty, I think the best way to explain him would be to say this. The good book teaches me. No, yeah, I think it's like, it be me, Father for Garen of Hearty. The book tells me to love the sinner. And if I can't find love in them, to beat them over the head with a shillelagh until their sin's gone. I think it was something like that. Oi. Uh, stop warning, death wish. Okay. Okay, I think I just had to do that to trigger it. But, uh... But yeah, it's, um, it should be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying out these two characters. Um, Father of Gerda Farty is joining in later in the campaign, so he's going to be like a level 8 character. So he doesn't have access to reviving people yet, but he does have access to a number of fun spells. And, um, I'm going to primarily play him as a healer, but, um, he does have other advantages, and clerics are just really powerful, honestly. Clerics are a really, really good, um, class. Not him, that's no, not him. Where did the nerd go? Oh, there he is. But, uh, yeah, I look forward to playing these nerds. It should be good. Um, fa Father for Garen of Heart, he will probably be the, will be definitely be the sillier character. Oh, yeah, with the street punk girl. <laughs> She'll also repeatedly try to flirt with dude that she thinks are hot and uh, be bad at it. She'll also um, not know what to do if they reciprocate. She'll be like, uh, uh, uh. So that, that'll be fun to play her like that. If you're wondering about romance stuff with Father for Garen of Hearty, he's, he's, he's chased. He's, he's chased. He's not. That's not happening. Oh, yeah, also a fun side note. Uh, his first name is Father. So that's his actual name, Father Fagernafarti. And yes, Farty is in his name. I, I know that. I I'm immature and I thought about it. Yeah, I was like, it'd be funny just to call him Fart. Well, it's actually a, th a voice I used to do. Uh, what was it with Phantom Savage when um, he would? How was it? What, I, it was like this Father Fagernafarti, and he would usually threaten violence. Because I think it's funny to just be like, I'll beat you with me, Shalali! Or some shit. But, uh, yeah, I look forward to playing Father for Gurnafari, because I also look forward to playing a cleric. I have not played a cleric. And, uh, clerics are really, really bullshit. No, seriously, like, look at a cleric's li Like, clerics are funny, so clerics don't have to be heal bot heal bots. Um, they can be tanks, they can be DPS, they can be all kinds of things. And they have some of the best spells in the game. オミレンゴの本庁寺田を元兄弟。錦山の組長さんから写真の男を捕まえろってな。錦か。俺。なんや。道島の龍言うても<笑> I love that animation, like that little like bit with the lip. That was really good. I love details like that in video games and animation in general. All right, time to beat you up. Oh, you know what? I should have done this. Oh well. Oh, so I'm using the wrong style because this is definitely the best style for one-on-one -on -one fights because you can just keep wailing. And then they just can't do anything about it. You'll notice me using this style a ton. Oh, 
Also, I do a lot more damage. Like, like I mentioned before, this is New Game Plus. I do a lot more damage than, um... You know, your average character at this level would do. And I have a lot more health than I would, uh, normally. Probably means he's aware that you're a fucking mole. Oh, cool. It's one of those ones where I can just hit R2 and then he'll follow. Like I say, this is good Shenmue. Oh, I didn't even need to. It's just fucking right here. Well, at least I can just follow him this way. Whatever. But, uh... Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing some more... D&D and Pathfinder. It's been a while. It's weird talking about that one I'm playing Punch Man, but eh, whatever. Wait a minute. Uh, let me buy some stuff. Uh... Oh. That's all it is. Uh, I have... Let me see if I can fix some of my shit. Because I know some of these weapons are busted from when I played... Oh, yeah, yeah. Order. Order. Yeah. Total... Yeah, I can still afford this. Yeah, I can still afford this. I think I'll stop with that, though. So that's going to be a huge bite into my cash. And I am going to be a little low on cash for a little bit. Oh, let me get back to Shinji. Here I am. I was just buying some contraband. Don't worry about it. Putting some ammo in a gun. Not going to use much of it yet. A lot of that stuff I got from the lockers and side quests and shit. Alright. It's kind of interesting that they kind of like, especially after the, the last game where it's like, well, I mean, well, the prequel where you see like the bubble period and then now it's the 2000s where the bubble's long burst. Actually, kind of like with the the lowering the lower of the lowering of the power, it kind of reminds me of uh, the. Uh... Okay, this is cool. You can see everybody this way. Like the lower power kind of reminds me of um. You know, like uh, the mob here in the states. Executive Rose of Promises in the eighties. I served directly under him. Stigma of killing is such a highly patriarchal probably will probably be with me the rest of my life. To this day I had no idea why Ch and Sarah didn't banish me ten years ago, they never will. I'm not gonna go through all these just for the sake of your time. Um and I already did blab earlier, or maybe I gotta just dick around in here for a while. Oh, uh, you know what? They might want me to do this. So yeah, I think I gotta read all of them. Uh, I'm trying to think what other dumb shit... Because I've talked about Sonic and a couple things in the, the new um, movie, so, I mean, my opinion on it is just simple. I don't like his design. Uh, Eggman looks fine. I hope that they're not, like, fucking over the animators by redesigning him and reanimating him for the entire fucking movie. And, uh, you know, just simple shit like that. But, uh... We'll see what all happens with that stuff. Um, but yeah, there's not like a whole lot of new shit. Um, I think 
probably when uh, this game's over, probably the next batch of games will have um, Tales of uh, Vesp not Vesperia, um, Vestria. I did start playing Vesperia again on my own, which I knew I would after I finished what I was doing. Um, I want to finish Vesperia, Vesperia I on my own. Uh, I I I'm going to put Azestria, Exilia. I might put the new Fire Emblem game on the list because I'm going to be getting that. Um, and I might put Breath of Fire again on, and we'll see what does, how well, and, you know, all that fun shit. That game will probably be out, and I'll probably be, lo I'll be Who is? still playing this game. おやさん、何があったんすか東条会はそれに錦は会ったのかあいつにいえあいつはあの もう一つお前に伝えなきゃならんことがある。弓のことだ。ええ、行方不明って。それなんだが、弓は。ボヤス。か、風間の時期。てめえ。お前。キリュ。Well, time to beat up the entire clan. Oh wait, I got a better idea. I have a much better idea. Ring! Oh wait, no, he's gonna do this one. Ah, whatever, it's fine, he's dead now. Uh, why don't I... Okay, good. It still works like it does in Zero, where I can just go ham like that. Yeah, they're all dead. I'm way too strong for this shit. I mean, the game's designed with the idea of me being much weaker than this, so, you know, it's fair. A normal man would be dead from that fall, but not Yakuza man! With the power of fuck you, I am Yakuza man! Oh yeah, you know what's fun about being Yakuza man? This. Hello! Gentlemen, I have brought presents! These are my welcoming gifts! Welcoming you to hell! I'm gonna hit you with it. Oh my god, cameras know what to do! Ooh! Alright, let me go after this guy with the knives. And you will be dead now! Good night! I see you there, ass clown. Who do you think you're fucking with, man? I'm Yakuza Man! Oh, more people for Yakuza Man to beat up. Time to fight, for I am Yakuza Man! What the fuck? Hold on, Yakuza Man's not done yet! Yakuza Man has more people to hurt! Yakuza man! Yeah, fuck. You know, a fun thing. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that out. You know, a fun thing to do is you just take scenarios from, like, games and just point out how everything can be solved so much easier if Kiryu was just there to beat everybody up. Like, you could solve the entirety of Persona 5 with just Kiryu. 
Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but don't you have to fight God? Yes. I didn't fucking stutter. Here you could punch out God. You can do it easily. Have you seen the muscles of this man? Alrighty. Now I now I have a knife. Hey son, what you got there? A knife! Like I, I think that like almost every like palace could be a side quest, including even just well Futaba doesn't need well you know no need, Whoa, that was weird. No need to get a beat up in the Futaba one, but you know. He could give her a pep talk. Kiryu is good at those. He does a lot of those in side quests. It's not even my blood on my fist, that's your blood. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Oh wait, that's one of the better uh, healing things that I remember using a ton of. So I bought a bunch of heat stuff. So why don't I just use one of these? Oh, oh, it's the yeah, it's the good shit. It's the better shit. So I'll be using up my shit as I go along in order to have better shit. I mean, I got some of the best shit in the game just because this is a new game plus Kiryu. This isn't your... This isn't your average Kiryu. I've ascended beyond normal Kiryu. I've got a sword. From stabbing him with a sword to punching him through a wall. You know, I should get the Judgment game. That game, when that comes out, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a spin off of this shit. Except for you play as a cop and... The fucking heat moves are even more ridiculous in that game. I, I was looking at... Well, someone was telling me about some of them. And, Jesus Christ. But, uh... Man, I, I do want to play it. It looks good. And the hair animation, for the first time, actually looks good. Because one of the things that I don't like about the Yakuza games... Okay, I can't really talk about, um... Six? But I played Kiwami. Uh, Kwame's a little better, but then again, Kaoru's Kaur, like the only chick in the game, and she has her hair like tied up real tight. But uh, a lot of the girls in Yakuza, you probably know, as both Zero and Kawami, their hair looks like plastic because of how it doesn't move. And because of the length, it just looks bad. It's my only complaint about the visuals in Yakuza, man. But it's like such a, a minor thing. It's like, why even bother? Especially like when the skin textures and everything else looks really good. And the games in general just look good. Like, these are not bad-looking games at all. These do not look like your bargain bin games. Yeah, I have counter moves. What of it? Well, he's fucking dead. Oh, wait. Cool. Why are Yakuza games so fun? Uh, it's here. There's one I have that just heat. And I don't want to use those. Toughness. I'll just use one of these. Oh, it's just another one of these. I'll be going through these before I... Like I said, I'm going to go through these before I go through... Uh... Oh. Hello. Would you guys like to die? I see you throwing knives there, you motherfucker. You think you're fucking cute? You think it's fun? How about I punch your fucking head out? Actually, I noticed something. Guns show up sooner in, uh... Fucking Yakuza 0 than they do in this game. It kind of, like, goes into that thing I remember one of my friends saying about, uh... This game versus the other ones. Is... Oh, this game versus, uh... Oh, which one are you? I'm running out of shitty ones to just spend. Cool, cool. More good ones. Fall free. Oh, you mean I got... Oh! It's Majima! I'm surprised you're here. Actually, no, I'm not surprised you're here. Here, here, Majima, let me give you a present. I know he's gonna eventually just start appearing in Kamurocho. No, you're not powering up. Good night. I think he was... This fight is added to this game. Like, I think you only fight him, like, twice in the regular one. Because they added a lot of the Majima stuff um, in Kiwami, because Majima is super popular. Which is fine, because I love Majima. I actually have a Majima t-shirt. It's uh, kind of like a super deformed version of him, popping out of a trash can. But, uh... Yeah, it's, um... 
As far as I know, we're really fired up, meaning... Oh, okay, whatever. But yeah, it's uh, it's fun. I And Majima's a fun character. I love him. I love him and Kiryu. They're like two of my favorite video game characters, and it's too bad their Figmas are ridiculously expensive. Seriously, they, they, they are stupid expensive. And now I kill half the room. And... Oh, you're not, not gonna die yet. I like how there's just one lady sitting there. Oh, no, there's two. It would have been funny if there was just one, because it's just like, this is just lady. Like, hi, I'm here too, I guess. Well, he's dead. That was quick. No. Remember, kids, Yakuza's get superpowers by throwing off their jackets and showing off all their fucking rad ass tattoos. But obviously, because I'm not showing mine, I'm not using my full strength. Now, Shimano is a great teacher for uh, this game. Because he is honestly pretty hard to fight. If you don't know what you're doing. Because it took me a long time to beat him in my first playthrough. But he is so much kinder and gentler than Kuze. Like, Kuze is a... If I, fought, if I played Zero before this... Kuze probably would have right pissed me off. Now, of course, I'm also doing more damage than I would be normally by this point in the game. Though, as you saw, there is one side quest I can do. Watch this. See, that was also stuff I wasn't aware of when I played this game initially. Uh, let me just eat one of these and grab that item there because it might be something decent. Oh, yeah, it's good. Oh, I can just rapid fire punch you now. Oh, nice! I got one of these off. Oh, and I finished it off! Yes! I finished it with the order, order, order! Yes, yes, I'm so happy. This fight would obviously take you a lot longer if you were playing, you know, non-New Game Plus. A lot of these fights would. Uh, this entire segment would. This segment was so much fun when I first played it, and it's still a lot of fun. I highly recommend giving this game a shot. Like, honestly, Zero Two, but though my personal recommendation is try out this, then Zero, because I think this is a better introduction for new players. Then again, again, I'm like I said, I I did that that I did it that way too, so that uh, my body's also that, but I was also recommended to do it that way because of the Kuze fight. こんな照れかい。意味ないって言ったんですよ。なんだと。お前と話すくらいならバス<笑> ちょうさんよ。心で一つはっきりさせときたいんだよな。俺らは風間の親父に言われたから仕方なくてめえについてるだけなんだよ。何風間の親父から俺の それなりに扱われねえとな。Also, oh, these Nishiki uh, cutscenes that you see here between chapters 
those were also added to this version of the game. They were not in the original PS2 version, which I've never played. I just know that they weren't. Eh, I just fought a couple hundred people. I can fight a couple hundred more. Not, not. ただいま、風間が。ええ。無事かどうかも今は。だが風間の言ってたその 4か。あんたマルボに。10年前の同時孫殺し。ほら、上の意向を無視して突っ走って、結果、一家を殺されて今つまらねえヤクザの相手してる。お前と同じ今じゃ組織の花つまみだ。女房と娘も愛想つかして
Uh, let's see. Do I want to chance it with another... Ooh, where are you, Majima? I will want to fight Majima. Come on. That means Majima's around here somewhere. Aw, oh, man. I want to fight Majima, damn it. So, now that I've finished the funeral, I can get into random fights with thugs. Now I can do stuff. Oh. Ah, fuck. I didn't get that. Oh, cool. I was able to do it fast enough. And the fight's over. Because these guys are way under-leveled to fight me. And I am way over-leveled for this part of the game. Uh... I think, too, if I just keep getting the fights, Majima will just show up. Uh, what's... Okay, it's one of the locker keys. Because, uh, rather than the cards, it's locker keys in this game. And I think both in... Two? Yeah, I think you, there's both. There's cards and locker keys. I, I want Majima to fight me is what I'm looking for. Oh, okay, this is setting up one of the uh, other side things you can do. The pocket circuit, which I never really got into. It wasn't really my thing. My older brother used to have one. He loved tinkering with the little parts. I mean, hell, like, when it comes to that shit, like, I can't even make fun because I build, like, Gundam model kits. Model kit, like, plastic model kits in general, the ones that, like, snap together are just a lot of fun to put together. I, I love them. Uh... I believe this is also a new thing that was not in the original. Oh. Why don't I save this guy? Hey! Clowns! You wanna fight someone? Fight me instead! Yeah, we'll activate the next cutscene and go from there. I think. Not oh, sure, whatever. This will fucking do it. That's fine. You're dead. And now it's your turn to die. And your turn. I like how that kick just, like, made him stand back up. It's pretty fucking dope. And what am I gonna get for my trouble? Uh... Yeah, send this. So I can use that for selling shit. That's the other thing is, those items are really good for, uh... Ah, damn it. I believe this is the one that he just wants to drink. Um, but we're not here to do that. I'm not going to be really doing the side stuff. I might, like, occasionally do one just for the hell of it. But I'm primarily, my goal is to just bust through the main story. Less so than, like, Berseria, where I did, like, almost every side event. Oh, okay, fine, that's... Alright, cool, whatever, I'm gonna kill you now. Good night. <laughs> you know, wonders never cease, the fact that these people keep trying to fight Kiryu. Actually, I kind of get it when he gets out of prison, you know, like, oh, let me try to get a piece of this. But it's always funny, like, especially with the Kwame too, it's like, why are people still fucking with this old man? Everyone who does just gets beat up. You know, shit. さしぶりだな、レイナ。キリュちゃん。ユミを頼むってな。あいつのことを何か知らないか。あの時病院から失踪したって聞いてからは何も。でもね、キレイちゃん。5年前ここに水木って女の人は訪ねてきたの。彼女、沢村ユミの妹ですって言ったわ。
みずきちゃんちょくちょくここに顔出してくれてねそのうちゆみちゃんがいたこの店で働きたいって4年くらいいたんだけど去年急に自分のお店を持つことになったのお店の名前はあれ場所はオープンしたら知らせてくれるってことになってたんだけどまだ連絡ないのよこっちから聞こうにも連絡先変わっちゃってるみたいでそうか彼女ユミちゃんによく似てた会えばすぐにわかると思うここに入れ墨入れてたわ花模様のユミの妹らしくないそうね邪魔したなまたいつでも来てね私にできることなら何でも協力するからはあ錦山君のこと聞かないんだそれとももう誰かからはあそう自分の目で確かめるさ人が何て言おうがなねえキリュウちゃんミレニアムタワーって知ってる5年前建てられたそのタワーの裏に小さなバーがあるのマスターは飲食店の元締めみたいな人よ新しい店ができたらマスターに必ず連絡が行くわアレスの場所もきっとねそのバーの名前はバッカス Oh you mean that place I was just at? <laughs> Convenient, I guess. I have no accessible. I can change. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, is this the wardrobe? Item box. Maybe there's some of the stuff I've equipped. Uh, I guess not. All right. Uh, we are going to save here. Because um, I know what comes next, and that'll take a long time. And, uh, yeah. We'll continue next time. Um... I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I'm looking forward to getting to the meat of this game, and actually the next scene I do like a lot. Because, um, that'd be spoilers, I can't say. It's tempting. But anyway, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next time.